O mighty ones of the ages, O thou who art the living flame of eternal youth, we, the sponsors of youth, salute the holy Kumaras seven. We salute the body of God above and the body of God here below. We come therefore in solemn procession, and legions of light accompany us. For so, beloved ones, every child of God, every son and daughter that has descended from above, does receive ministration in this hour. And we enhance the flame of the heart by the power of the great central sun. Therefore, let the light rays go forth from the heart center of all who have kept their tie to the Almighty One, to Alpha and Omega. Let the rays go forth then, and let there be the quickening of those hearts in whom the flame has flickered and gone out for discouragement, for deprivation, for disgrace. Yes, beloved ones, we use those who have kept the flame as keepers of the flame in earth for many thousands of years to rekindle those hearts who have allowed the divine spark to simply go down until there is no flame left. Beloved ones, we are in solemn convocation with many among the hosts of the Lord, and we bow to the flame within you and express gratitude for your presence here. For you have moved yourselves, bestirred yourselves from the many demands that life places upon you to come apart and to hear from the youth a lecture on the youth of the world and America. Blessed ones, the subjects touched on this evening weigh upon the heart of the Divine Mother. I will tell you just how dire the situation is, for I speak for us all. And I say, beloved, this is the warfare of the spirit, and the fallen angels have determined to so sever one generation from the next that inside of a hundred years this earth may de-evolve to such a lesser state as such that you could not even recognize such a transformation. Yes, beloved ones, this is on the agenda of the fallen ones whose time is very, very short. Therefore, we say to you, hurry, 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 hurry. Did you not hear these words spoken in the music played to you? It says, hurry, 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 before it is too late. Hurry then to resolve your own psychology, your own stopping places on the levels of time and space where you yourselves may have been bruised and battered as children or in previous embodiments. You think you have bruises. You think you have been battered. I tell you, beloved ones, it cannot possibly be to the extent that has occurred to this generation. These children in the earth, whether they have retained the flame or not, are being set upon by such darkness in so many subtle ways, none, of course, more deadly than the rhythm of the music of hell itself, than the drugs pervade, than the sugar saturating the brain, the heart, and even affecting the concentration of light in the spiritual chakras. Beloved ones, your aches and pains are minor in comparison to those who cry out to you. It is as though they were partly in the astral plane in hell itself while they are in, in embodiment. 
and their arms and their heads and their cries reach out to you, and yet there is even a separation between you and them, almost as though a veil covered your eyes and you did not see and would not see what is happening to these little ones and these little ones as they grow older and older and are old before their time for the squandering of the life force for the scrambling of the brain for the absence of the logos of the logic of the mind of god and simply basic principles of right action right conduct oh blessed hearts where do you begin you begin where you always begin you begin at the altar of god and you begin with the absolute conviction that the all power of god is able to manifest through you beloved ones it is time to settle all divisions within your own members by the power of the living christ jesus by the healing power of grace and the gifts of the holy spirit it is time to say to yourself and to say to god enough is enough i have had enough of this indulgence in my own seeming schisms or whatever they may be i cannot nearly be as bad off as these children i will loose myself and lose myself in service to the living christ within them i will not take no for an answer i will go with my circle and sword of blue fame in the name of astraea i will take my sword of archangel michael and i will continue to make calls for the youth of the world and for the binding of those entities and discarnates and fallen angels who have prayed upon them and prayed upon them again and again yes beloved do not take no for an answer from these children for these children have developed a hardness and a cynicism for where are their parents where are they many fine parents work double jobs to maintain a single parent household and even two parents working those jobs to keep their children at a certain standard of living I tell you love is the key to the balance of children and the wisdom of the heart and certain time that is spent in a true circle of communion if you are to commune with children who are being daily brainwashed in the schoolhouses of the world then i say to you it is time you attended those schoolhouses and observed for yourselves it is time you saw the same movies that your children see and tied into the same music that you might understand just what is taking place in their consciousness you must come to grips with the realization that a force of great darkness has in many cases separated the very souls of children and their minds from their parents. Thus you must take your stand and you must see to it that above all you get the course that is given by those who are teachers at Summit University in Montana. The weekend course whereby you can learn to teach your children how to read by the Spalding method phonetically. This is an absolute must, beloved ones, and you must welcome children of all ages into your home and give them this training and liberate them from the very depression that causes them to remain depressed and out of the mainstream of life for this entire embodiment and then what beyond i ask you beloved ones to teach children the reading the writing and the arithmetic before the age of seven is the solemn responsibility of every single person who calls himself a light bearer in the earth every single one of you who is walking toward the sun and intends to attain union with god you will not be received into that union if you leave these little ones you must save the children you must save their minds and you must know that you cannot do it alone and that your daily presence at your altar is a must whereby we shall speak through you work through you and you must call to astraea to keep the youth of the world encircled by the mighty circle and sword of the flame let the decree sessions therefore of this entire 
autumn conference here in Atlanta be signaled by the prayers for the youth of the world. It must be done, beloved ones, for the force itself has kept you from your absolute concentration upon this very subject, the most vital, the most vital, I tell you, in all the earth. For these are the generation of tomorrow. These are today's leaders and tomorrow's leaders. Blessed hearts, how can you bequeath a nation, much less your own organization, your churches and your schools to a generation who not only cannot read, but they do not even see the necessity of reading when they have computers that can do their spelling for them. I tell you the alphabet is indeed a manifestation of the light of Alpha and Omega. They ought to know the Hebrew alphabet as well, that they might understand the spherot, that they might understand the principles of the 22 letters. Yes, beloved hearts, the power of 33 is present. Thus know, and know it well, that you must be able to teach not only reading by the phonics method, but basic arithmetic and writing. Reading, writing, and arithmetic must be solidly in the hand and the heart and the mind of those children entrusted to your care, those in your neighborhoods, all whom you can reach, so that by the time they get into a public school, they are not going to be traduced by those teachers and those systems that will not say die. I am authorizing you in the name of Almighty God in this conference to learn how to invoke the judgment of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who did say, whoever shall hurt one of these little ones, it would be better for him that, he, that a millstone were hung about his neck and he were cast into the sea. I tell you, it is time to call the judgment upon the entire system of education in this nation and beyond as it influences the educators of the world. But many nations are far too smart and have not allowed their systems to so degenerate. I tell you, death and hell stop the classrooms of America. Are you going to stand for it any longer, children of the light? No. Well, then I say you must do something about it. You must not forget this night. You must not fail to respond to the heart of the sun. You may be sickened, you may be faint, you may be weary from the battle, but you must keep on with the battle. Remember to invoke your tube of light. Remember to call for the roaring violet flame in the center and the cylinder of blue flame. Remember to have your physical swords unto Archangel Michael and to call for the cutting free of the youth of the world daily. You can plaster the walls in your homes with pictures of children from all over America, and you can use these pictures of children photographs and posters and whatever you can find in magazines and you can wield that sword of Archangel Michael cutting around them and asking for millions of children to be cut free and while you are at it beloved ones you might as well keep a picture of aborted fetuses also to remind you every day of your life that children are being aborted children whom we are sending from the central sun who never make it into the kindergarten who never make it into your play schools for they are being aborted let them be cut free in the etheric octave and the astral plane. Let them be cut free of all those scars that are upon them for having gone through such a grave trauma as being murdered in their mother's wombs. Beloved ones, it is well to remember. How can anyone fail to remember? Well, you see to it that you do not by keeping those pictures in front of you. I tell you, beloved ones, let not a day pass that you do not stand with the world mother and with a mother of the flame to exorcise the planet of those forces of death and hell. You think that the ride of the fourth horseman, the pale horse, is coming sometime in the future. I tell you, the pale horse has been riding through America up and down and bringing the karma upon the parents, upon the children, to the third and fourth and tenth and fortieth and fiftieth generations, all the way back to the times of Atlantis. Yes, beloved ones, the karma does come tumbling down, but there is also a mighty tree of life, and the fruits thereof shall be 
for the healing of the nations, for the healing of the youth of the world, for the healing of the children. Therefore, teach them. Who will teach the children? Raise your hands, beloved ones. Who will teach the children? Go out and find them. Make room for them in your homes. Offer to teach them in any place, in any situation that their parents will allow. I tell you, there shall be many, many blessings upon those who have the courage to teach the children to read and write, to teach the children to calculate their numbers. Oh, beloved hearts, what a gift you give to children when you give them their independence, which is a manifestation of the mighty threefold flame of life. And so, beloved ones, in order to read, they then, therefore, by so receiving that reading lesson from you, can begin to expand the yellow plume of mighty wisdom, which is wise dominion, for they shall become wise and erudite and enlightened, because you shall not only teach them to read, but also provide them with the necessary books that they must have to move on in life and to help other children out of the quicksand of the educational system. Beloved ones, the power of mathematics is the power of the word with God in the beginning. It is the great power. It is the great action, truly, of the will of God. It is the ordering of life. It is the very foundations of the geometry of being. Therefore, let the blue ray go forth, and let the power of mathematics be manifest, and let not one child that you know and many children that you may meet be left without the four blocks of manifestation that he must have in the geometry of life, truly addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let these come and let these be firmly rooted, that none of these fallen ones who have entered the schoolhouses of the nation, because, quite frankly, they are not fit for any other professional job, beloved ones, let them not be therefore any more those who curse the little children and curse the light within them and curse the Christ within them and deny the Lord our righteousness, that is, the voice of God as conscience, speaking within their hearts, telling them right and wrong. Oh, beloved hearts, let love well up in you now, and let love be the healing of all fear and doubt in your own being. Simply go forth and plunge yourself and your life into the support of the children of America, else you will see in another generation and another that you will not even recognize this nation, even as you do not recognize it in some quarters today. Blessed hearts, this is the most serious message you will ever hear from the Ascended Masters, for it is the message of the loss of this nation and ultimately other nations in the earth if you do not act and act in time. I tell you, beloved hearts, let the children learn to write by love. Let them learn to print. Let them learn cursive writing. Let them learn their spelling. Let them learn how to write a poem. Let them learn how to write a story and how to bring forth from their hearts what they are feeling, whether it is pain or bliss. Therefore, let them also learn by love art as the creative flow from their hearts. And through art, let them express themselves and get out on paper what they are suffering from within. Thus, beloved, you will see that children will rise up and call you blessed for many generations to come. Understand, beloved, that this is a fierce battle. And somehow or another, the good people of the nation in many quarters have simply separated themselves from the youth of the world because they fear the blasphemy of the demons that are surrounding and imprisoning children. And therefore, children become the mouthpiece of evil spirits. And parents are not able to deal with it. And some are afraid as these children become teenagers and they begin to feel the darkness that is around them. And instead of doing the work that you have been taught by the archangels and the ascended masters at your altar, instead of loving those children and disciplining them by love and giving them a cause for living, they and you retreat. You retreat from them. And this is the very plot of the sinister force. 
No matter how bad may be that which comes out of their mouth, beloved ones, God in you is greater, God in them is greater. You must pray and pray and pray on your knees if you must. Pray to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, give your rosaries, calls to Archangel Michael and all the hosts of heaven, but do not give up, do not give up, do not give up, we say. For such a vast majority of these children and youth have the raw materials to take their place in society as respectable and honorable citizens, even if they have but a shadow of a threefold flame remaining, even if it has gone out and yet the memory is still there when they are brought in up in a society of people who will deal with them fairly, honestly, and justly and set the example they can and shall return to their God, and that which seems well nigh impossible in this hour, for so far have things gone, is possible. It is not possible with man. The educational system of this nation has proven that. Nothing is possible with that system, but without that system and the real system of the great Logos with God in the beginning, all things are possible, even the turning around of this generation. Therefore, we fling our challenge into your midst and into the midst of everyone who does dare to hold high the torch of the goddess of liberty. This challenge to turn around the entire educational system of this nation and to do it today. Therefore, we say, hurry, hurry, hurry. Children are being born. The years and the months pass. They are a year old, two and three and four and five, and soon they are 10 and 12, and you have not yet acted. It seems like life is almost passing you by. Well, it is not passing you by because you are adults, but it is indeed passing the children by whom you have passed by. Now the Lord of the world does enter to bless you and does place his electronic presence over you and over the youth of the world. The entire hierarchy of light ministering to this planet has never been so one-pointed, so dedicated, so profoundly concerned for the future of planet Earth as it is in this day and hour concerning all of the children of the world, but especially the children of this nation who have the lowest standards of education when you combine what is on television, what is in the movie houses, what is in the music that they hear, blessed hearts. Is there a group of children on earth that are so bombarded with darkness? I tell you nay, save for those in the Western civilization who receive all of that music and video and TV and movies. Yes, beloved hearts. It is a diabolical misuse of the technology come again from Atlantis that is a use that is going to destroy the youth of the world. Blessed ones, at some level, whether consciously or unconsciously, those who are purveying these products for the eyes and ears and bodies of children know that they are destroying the children and thus the prophecy of Revelation does come to pass. Woe to you, inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down to you having great wrath. And this devil, beloved, this seed of the fallen angels, does go forth to make war against the seed of the Divine Mother. And the seed of the Divine Mother is the seed of Christ. And the seed of Christ is in every child and son and daughter of God. Therefore, the warfare is against those children who have the greatest light in the earth and all of their peers and all of their generation who can be raised up if these little leaders in their time are protected that they might rise and bequeath to a world what God has given them to bring. I pray God in you I pray for your calls that this abortion will be stopped and that the light bearers destined to embody will not only be allowed to embody, but will receive the tutoring from your hearts. Blessed ones, you may laugh in your joy, 
You may have good times, but not fully, not ultimately, not all, can you abandon yourself to the happiness of days and golden days ahead. For each of your days must yet be tinged with a deep soul and heart awareness of the abortion of souls of light and all, all souls. For children who are missing out in their sensitive periods when they should be learning to read and write and have the joy of envisioning a universe of numbers and of geometry. O oh, blessed hearts, it is good to allow yourself to sense the world pain, especially the pain of children. Knowing this, you cannot quite fill your cup of joy to the fullest. Remember the children. Remember the children, for not so long ago you were a child, and you had at least some nurturing and some foundation of an education. Remember, remember the children, for in the not too distant future, you may be a child again, re embodying, and you shall reap as a child the karma you incurred in your last life, this life, for having ignored so great an opportunity and so great a salvation that you could have given to the little children. It is a most serious hour in Earth's history, for the fallen angels have determined that if they will be bound and taken for their judgment in this decade and coming decades, they will leave a scorched Earth, they will leave children who have been so scrambled in their minds, so confused, so turned around, that they will not be able to rise and claim the Earth for freedom. Yes, beloved ones, this is the plot of the fallen angels. Thank God you have completed certain labors recently. Your labors must begin again and begin at the very core of Antichrist. Remember the slaughtering of the male babies. Remember of the intense effort to snuff out the light of even Lord Krishna when he was born. Yes, beloved hearts, the forces of Antichrist go after the children. Now you must go after the enemies of children. We charge you from the great central sun, and we charge you in the earth. We, the sponsors of youth, from out the great central sun, cannot leave this earth, and we shall go in to the astral plane, where on physical earth, in embodiment and out of embodiment, the children of the light have been imprisoned by fallen angels. O oh, blessed hearts, I wish to assure you that every call you make is answered. Only keep a regular rhythmic cycle, a ritual of prayers to the heart of the Divine Mother and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, to all hosts of the Lord that you can name. Keep that prayer vigil. Turn off your own TV sets. Deny yourselves a number of programs. Keep abreast of the news, but set aside that time for the children. We have called you, and our call reaches back to the heart of the great central sun and is mirrored again into your heart and soul and mind. Remember that it is possible. It is entirely possible for the entire scene to change. I must say that every keeper of the flame, the mother of the flame, every individual who is acquainted with the science of the spoken word must stand up and be counted in this hour for the youth of the world. Blessed ones, I assign you to read again the entire book of the science of the spoken word by these messages messengers as a prerequisite for this conference and for your teaching the children. 
You will refresh your minds in many points of the law, and you will understand why the spoken word is the power of prayer and the only effective power of prayer that will cut through for the exorcism, and yes, I have said the exorcism, of the schoolhouses, colleges, universities of America. Thus, beloved ones, be empowered and learn your lessons swiftly, for a world is waiting for your response. I salute you in the name of Alpha and Omega, the goddess of liberty and the lords of karma. Go for it, ye sons and daughters of liberty. We are with you, and we will do it. Will you? Yes. yes. our hands over our hearts. Let us sing to the great source of life, to Helios and Vesta, our Father, Mother, God. You will find this song in the yellow pages of your angel booklet. Helios and Vesta. Give your prayers and calls, affirmations and vows to God as to what role you will play on behalf of our children and youth. say this out loud or as a silent prayer. Thank you. 